So, Vegemite is Australian. Again. Still. So, Vegemite is probably the most distinctive food of the country. Um, uh, if anyone ever talks about anything, they always talk about Vegemite. <clears throat> Mostly put it on a bit of toast with a bit of butter. Um, nice on crumpets. Um, so, it's um, pretty much connected with Australia uh, as a food, loosely called a food anyway. Um, you do eat it. I suppose we really have to blame the British for really starting this um, with Marmite. Uh, <clears throat> around the end of the 19th, start of the 20th century, they started making this stuff out of yeast, thick black paste, inedible product. You can still get Marmite here in Australia, although I think it's the New Zealand version of Marmite, not the British one. Um, they actually make it in New Zealand <clears throat> since, um, I don't know, a long time, uh, probably back in like 1910, 1920, I don't know. So, yep. Um, so, but in Australia during World War One, it was getting hard to get here. So, um, so Fred Walker got onto this guy, Cyril Callister, to try and make a replacement product uh, out of just leftover uh, yeast they were dumping from the brewery. So. Uh, and they mix it with some celery and salt and onions and God knows what, and made a replacement product um, for um, a Marmite. Um, <clears throat> they didn't have a name for it. They actually got had a competition to come up with this brilliant name. Um, they actually had a competition where a couple of girls uh, came up with the name Vegemite. Um, they were adult girls, so no excuses. Uh, I have no idea what their names were, they called them the Vegemite Girls and uh, that's pretty well stuck. I'm sure you could look up and find out what their real names were. So they came up with that idea. It was a complete failure, no one wanted the stuff because it tasted like shit. Um, uh, the funny thing about Vegemite it always does taste like shit um, and if, especially if you're used to Marmite it still tastes like shit even if you're used to one product it's very much a quiet taste. So it was a, a bit of a fail um, for many years. They eventually in the um, uh, late 20s, I mean, it was the 20s and 30s, um, so uh, excuses there, uh, didn't really sell well uh, even though they pushed all the uh, health benefits and whatnot. So uh, they changed the name. Uh, great marketing campaign was the 20s and 30s. Uh, they had a ma marketing campaign against Marmite with the, um, the idea that Marmite but Pa Will with their new name of Powell and you get it uh, might yeah anyway so that was uh, that was also a fail of course um, and so they went back to Vegemite which didn't help at all um, so very much an acquired taste so but along the way um, Walker had a bit of a they had a bit of a combined um, thing with Kraft uh, they had a they eventually started this Kraft Walker uh, cheese company which is actually did quite well and uh, uh, it was fairly successful so they decided to just start giving away Vegemite for free because they couldn't sell the shit um, give it away free with the cheese and uh, that actually worked well because the main thing is to get an it's an acquired taste it tastes terrible everyone's used to Marmite um, so you just give it away free and maybe some bastard will get a taste for it which actually worked um, they, um, the old free Vegemite, so people acquired taste for it, and it actually started to sell, which was great because it is an acquired taste. And um, a lot of people, you know, they'll have their visitors from America or something, and they'll give them a taste of Vegemite. And of course, Americans think it tastes like shit, which it does. And if you don't believe that, just eat one of the other products you don't normally eat. Go and eat some Marmite or some Aussie Mite or one of the other many millimites out there and of course they taste like shit because you're not used to them and it is very much an acquired taste so anyway it was always has been made in Australia obviously because no one else eats the shit um, even marmite eaters don't eat the shit so always was made in Australia uh, they did make it in New Zealand for a while because New Zealanders did eat it um, a bit of similar a lot of New Zealanders live over here and vice versa um, they also make marmite there which so um, maybe New Zealanders prefer Marmite, I'm 
Not sure, I'll have to, <coughs> have to ask one sometime, so there you go. Anyway, by 1939, uh, it got, uh, finally got fairly popular. Um, and somewhere along the line, they started putting a craft logo on it. I don't know the exact details of that, but um, it always had that bit of a, a, a craft um, connection, obviously. Um, they started putting a craft logo on it. People got a bit annoyed about that, you know, Americans taking over our product. It's gone to America. Even though it was still actually made here, but it had gone to America. It's got that craft brand on it that was upsetting a lot of people. So um, it was like this big American takeover, anyway, with craft uh, taking over this. Um, anyway, around 2012, craft uh, did a little um, rebranding thing, um, <coughs> split up whatever companies do, uh, and they started calling them the craft food section. They started calling it Moodleys or something like that. I don't know how it's pronounced exactly. And the craft logo actually vanished. I don't think anyone actually noticed. Um, they still had this thing about it being owned by Kraft, which it sort of was, I suppose. Still made here. Um, most people just kept eating it anyway. Uh, it's only some people are fussy about that. Um, Dick Smith used to have a big um, electronics company in Australia. He was fairly upset about it, likes Australian made, he uh, makes his own brand of foods now, flies around in a helicopter. Nice guy, a bit strange, but nice guy. And he um, started wanting having Australian made foods, which of course Vegemite is made here, but he wanted fully Australian owned foods or whatever, so uh, he came up with another brand, uh, <coughs> Aussie Mite, um, which um, it has an O, uh, and there's another Aussie mite which has an A and they've had a, their own little fight about which is the real Aussie mite which is very important of course um, they uh, they taste like shit if you're used to Vegemite and you eat Aussie mite or whatever to me they just taste like shit and most people so they usually stick with one brand you, you can acquire a taste you just go you know, this tastes a bit odd and after a little while you get used to it but just there is that little transition period obviously because they taste like shit when you first eat them because the product tastes like shit, um, and there's not an easy way to get around that. Um, it, uh, your body's very clever like that. You eat things that taste like shit, your body gets things out of it that it wants, and eventually says, oh, this tastes like shit, but I'm going to like it, because it's um, got something in it I want, it's actually useful. So bodies are really good like that. Um, people eat all sorts of strange things. Uh, Anyway. Of course, the latest thing with Vegemite is the, um, uh, it's also had the other controversies over the years, aside from being owned by a giant American multinationals and Amer Australians all get funny about that. It's also had this kosher and halal thing over the years. Uh, yeah, the kosher thing upset a lot of people for a while. Uh, people had a big uproar about that. Um, well, maybe a small uproar. Uh, um, they had that uproar about it being uh, kosher, so they dropped the kosher certif certification. Um, and of course, the Jewish community got upset about that, so they put back on the kosher certification, uh, which made everyone happy again. And uh, that sort of has eased off again. And that, not, people aren't as worried about that anymore, but they are worried about halal. Uh, halal is a big, uh, a big thing at the moment um, because you know all that that extra cost of the halal certification uh, going on the price of your Vegemite that's terrible and um, so people get uh, Aussie Mite or whatever instead um, uh, even though uh, unfortunately Aussie Mite's actually more expensive so most people just get Vegemite which is cheaper um, even with the halal certification probably get more sales that way so with the kosher and halal so it actually probably brings the price down and most people just don't care um, whether they have their little halal cooties or not. Anyway, so now, Bega or Bega, I never know. Um, the cheese company in Australia, which I thought was a New Zealand company, but anyway, apparently it's not, it's a New South Wales company. Um, make great cheese, Bega, um, which is what I call it. Um, great cheese, I uh, love them to death. I, can't afford a lot of good cheese, but and I'm not supposed to eat too much. But um, they've now acquired uh, Vegemite, which uh, has made a lot of people very happy. It's even made Dick Smith happy, or so he says. Uh, it'll probably actually hurt uh, his Aussie Mite sales, but he's very happy about it. So, so he says. And he's got other brands, so he's probably not a big deal. And you know, if you've already acquired a taste for Aussie Mite, you're sort of stuck with it anyway because Vegemite probably tastes like shit to you now. So. There you go. But you still have got the halal thing. Um, that may eventually get us our own Trump elected. Um, 
if we can ever find one we don't have one yet we might have to start like a um, some sort of reality TV show and, and hold auditions for a Trump style um, Prime Minister or President, we don't have a President, we have a Prime Minister, so it's a little bit harder. We don't actually elect them, they have to actually go through the party system, so it's a little bit harder. We did have Clive, uh, Clive Palmer, um, who was sort of rich, he wasn't Trump rich, but um, he was a bit of a showman. He would have been close, but he was sort of had his own party, so that sort of blew that. Um, we have got um, Pauline Hanson, she's got a lot of ideas, very fond of Trump she is. Um, likes a lot of the same sorts of things but uh, again she's in her own little party and she's um pretty wacky not that trump's not but she's fairly wacky herself got red hair though very nice um which is um, which is always a plus i suppose so we, we're working on that um and they um uh, certainly the uh, certainly the halal vegemite may help um get our own little trump over here we're we're certainly looking into that. Anyway, Vegemite still tastes like shit, uh, but it is Australian again. Uh, well, still, it's same factory. Uh, it's been making it for a very long time um, <clears throat> in Melbourne. So um, nice on toast and crumpets, and I should get one of those crumpets, and because I'm now hungry. Um,